order the Northampton uh, Policing Review Commission Subcommittee on Policies and Services. It's Monday, March 15th, 4.45 p.m. And um, uh, this is a Zoom recorded meeting. Uh, we're coming to the end of the commission and this is our last scheduled subcommittee meeting. Um, and I'm gonna ask Noah to do the roll. It sounds like, oh, Josie's joining us, okay. Um, uh, Noah, would you do the roll? Yes, Nick. I'm here. <laughs> uh, David? Here. Namdi is not yet here. Cynthia? Here. Here, and Elizabeth is not yet here. Okay. Um, uh, we approved minutes, but I don't believe we have a minutes to approve, if I'm correct. Okay. Yeah, we're so on. we're we're up to date uh, up to last week, um, and we have um, we didn't really talk about having a, a, a time for public comment, but it is on the agenda. So uh, I am opening up uh, the meeting uh, to. Um, uh, public comment. I, uh, I'm not expecting it to take uh, a, a long time, but anybody who uh, would like to give three minutes of public uh, comment is welcome to at this time, and we would be glad to listen to any final input or, or uh, feedback uh, or uh, comments about where we're at, because uh, we're we're coming down to the, the last stages of our commission. So um, if anybody wants to make a public comment, they should raise their hand. I see only one um, person from the public uh, on, uh, on the uh, Zoom at, at this time. And uh, um, just uh, uh, raise your hand if you wanna talk, I'll give it a few seconds. <clears throat> and otherwise, we now have Namdi joined us, and uh, hopefully Elizabeth will join us in a bit. So that said, I am going to close the public comment period since I don't think uh, uh, we have anybody wanting to contribute anything at this time. Um, so the next item on the agenda is uh, closing business for our subcommittee. And uh, we have, um, there's, there's only one outstanding piece of business that I'm aware of, but there may be others. Um, and the one outstanding business is um, a passage that we discussed before um, that, uh, uh, um, is in the introduction to the policies and services section. And I can post the passage in question, but I also want to, to ask, and I'll ask again in a few minutes, but it, was there any other item that, that uh, we wanted to review? Um, and I, I ask you in particular, Cynthia, since you're you've participated in the, the, the final uh, assembly of the, um, uh, of the report. Is there anything else besides this one passage that we need to review or want to review? Uh, just from my perspective, if, if you know it's out there, this is our opportunity to, to if you've seen it, the latest, latest version that it came out a couple of hours ago. We could. Um, we Maybe after we look at this one passage, we could um, we could uh, go to the actual document and review the parts that are relevant to our to to our committee to see if we're all comfortable and in agreement with the wording. What is the um, passage we're reviewing? I'm going to post it. I'm going to share it right now. Yeah, I was um, in the middle of um, so many different drafts. I wanted to make sure I knew which one we were posting. So that's that's sort of the genesis of this. So okay, 
Are you able to see this paragraph? Yes. Okay, so, and I can make it bigger if needed. So the, the parts in yellow were, in my understanding, the parts in question. I, I'm not absolutely even clear, but this section and uh, uh, is uh, a revision by Namdi and, um, and uh, there were some questions among the co-chairs about the, um, whether this was a revision that was consistent with what the committee was asking for, uh, our subcommittee. And I want to um, uh, ask if anybody would like to comment on either of these sections or any aspect of this to, um, to just uh, 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 see how we want to go forward with this section. Isn't there a word missing, I think? Uh, it, it, does this capture? I think there's a word missing. Let Though me... we heard both these performance period. And then there's a small E for evidence. Mm -hmm. Just a second. I think it's supposed to be a comma after performance. <clears throat> it, it, but it's still, I think it's missing something. Mm, okay, let me something. let me pull it, let me pull it from the original. I, I, well, that's right, yeah. Because like, like, you talk about cutting, cutting that set. Yeah. I mean yeah. There, there's been a lot of cutting and pasting. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so while you're putting this together, just for, just for David's benefit, who may be a little bit more or less clear about why this, he's probably not seen this before. Um, I was asked to revise or to check on whether I intended to revise some piece of an earlier version of this uh, last night. And when I looked at what I was asked to revise, I, I actually felt that what I wrote originally is what I, what I meant, but I was trying to think about why it was that we, I was asked to revise. And I think that my recollection was the, I used the word progressive originally, and there was an objection to calling the Northampton Police Department progressive. Um, but I think I, I want to just emphasize here that uh, when I said I would revise it, I think what I was thinking was I, I, I wanted to support, provide better support for my claim that the Northampton Police Department was progressive. So my intention was not to delete the, the claim, but rather to support it better, because there was some question about whether that was a reasonable thing to say. So what's new here is providing what I think is uh, pretty strong evidence of uh, one way in which the Northampton Police Department has behaved in an exemplary fashion uh, with regard to its being the first in the state to uh, publish its data online and make it available and to do that in response specifically to the Obama administration's request for police departments to be more um, transparent. Um, so to me, uh, being first in the state to open up their data to the public um, is one example of, of uh, the way the department has, you know, I would actually prefer to use the word progressive, but, but, but as, a, as a compromise to those who find that word um, hard to deal with for whatever reason, um, I used laudatory instead. Yeah, I think, um, and I'm waiting for it to come up here. I think what I'm seeing, what I'm seeing in blue, um, it was the word egregious that that I think David and I were questioning, and so I thought we were changing that, which I see is no longer there. Um, I think so. Let's see when it gets. Okay, this is what Namdi sent in his email. This is the original of what Namdi sent, and I don't know if this well, is no, different. That's what I sent last, you know, last night. But the, but the, the thing I was asked to respond to was in blue elsewhere. It was highlighted blue. You showed it earlier. It was total. Okay, I'll, let me see if I can pull that up. Yeah, because it may be that people prefer the original wording or would want to want to do both versions of it or something. <clears> like that. That's the you know the, when you that part in blue I think you'll see, it has the word like egregious and no, 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 I'm sorry not the, no, that's not it. It's, uh, it, it's going to take me a minute to, to find yeah, it. Hold on. Okay. Are you are, what are you seeing now? Are you seeing the the word document or are you seeing no, my, I'm my seeing email? It, I'm seeing your email. I'm seeing the yeah, your email. email. All right. Okay. <laughs> sorry. Which may about not. That. Yeah. I'm okay. Like, let me go. Let me go back here. Hold on. 
so many pieces of data, so little time. Um, I am going to have to. Yeah, and, I, and I, I might be able to find it sooner. Let's see if I can. Just a second. Yeah, so again, I, I have the blue. If you wanted me to switch to sharing my screen, Nick, I can do that for you, or I can email let's, it to you directly. Or Let's do that. All right, so I'm happily, happily to share this, except for only the host disabled my screen sharing for the host. Is that you, you the host? No, maybe, maybe uh, Noah. Noah, can you, Noah can, you, can you give me screen sharing? Privileges? Yeah, yeah, here you go. Thank you. you um, all right, so this is the text now in question, um, and I will this up, so. Blow it up. Is this the before and after? So here's the before. Yeah, here's the here's the before. This is what I was sent last night to ask if I wanted to. And this this one. Oh, okay. Egregious. And it was it was as I recall that that comment that I know I had an issue with. Yeah. And um, David, I think you commented as well. So. So, yeah, so if the concern is about egregious, I, I think I, I, I don't uh, object to um, to dropping that word egregious, um, maybe, maybe just say, but, but he, Nick and I had a conversation today where he suggested, I would love to, get, I'd like to actually hear about, the, he suggested that the incident with the gentleman who was being dragged through the street of Northampton, that that person might have been a person of color. If so, that would certainly, I can count as egregious violence. I, I don't know if that was true of that incident, but if it was, I, I would I would count that as egregious violence. So in any event, I, I'm happy to drop the egregious violence. I, I think that the only thing I was trying to convey is this thing we have found about, um, you know, that the, the George Floyd killing has not been, you know, an incident like that hasn't been, hasn't been found to be true here yet. And I think the yet is, 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 where, is, why, is what justifies some of our work. Um, so, I, so I have no objection to removing egregious violence. Um, I, and my my other um, concern was that I didn't want the Northampton community who spoke in vast numbers about um, their their experiences, their negative experiences. I didn't want to dismiss that qualitative, what I would call qualitative evidence that's very important because I, it's their voices that I, I didn't want to lose. Yeah. Well, and uh, Cynthia, just to be clear, are you suggesting that you think you've heard, uh, are you speaking about, about uh, particularly people of color who, who are raising concerns around race related, cultural related? Is, is, that, is that what's what's on your mind? Yes. Like, okay. Yes. Um, and do, do you think that that would be characterized appropriately by the phrasing I put here, which is people, uh, uh, people of color lack trust and confidence in their safety around any armed police? Or do you think that something more needs to be said to capture that? So again, I am totally fine with cutting the part that says no evidence of violence against people of, of color. If, you know, you add um, the egregious. Yeah. Go ahead, David. Well, I, I'm try, I, I'm my head is spinning here. Um, I I have no problem with uh, the egregious violence. Uh, I think what I would slightly reword it to say, while we found no evidence of egregious violence against people of color in the Northampton community, there were many suggestions that some people of color lack trust and confidence in their safety around any armed police. Finally, and notably, we heard many complaints about harm from Northampton police experienced by houseless persons and people with mental health challenges. Still not crazy about the way it reads, but I, but anyway, that I, I the the my concern that I expressed last time was, I think the only concern I expressed was was giving the label progressive to the entire department, and I I was comfortable with progressive leadership uh, uh, because I do think that as far as police chiefs go. Jody Casper is about as progressive as they come. And, um, and, I, do, and I do agree with Namdi about the, uh, the website and the efforts that, that are 
the, the written material, I mean, as you know, you've all heard me say many times, I mean, it's at, the written material sounds great. I have very little to complain about that. And my, uh, my recommendation would be is I don't re recall us ever looking for this evidence of egregious violence. And I, it, it's a leap for me to, to make such a declarative statement, we found no evidence. That's true, we did, but <laughs> we didn't look for it. And the documentation that we got from, from MPD doesn't really um, point to that. Um, so I, I, my recommendation is to take the whole sentence out. Um, the, the whole sentence, the, including the part about people of color lacking trust and confidence, because I would object to that. I, to me, that-, that Yeah, no, um, we can certainly um, say that, just that that statement follows the no evidence of egregious, so- Yeah, um, yeah so I, again, totally fine with, uh, yeah, I mean, and, uh, the other thing is just another suggestion would be to say that that um, you know we we heard uh, no complaints, but again I, I I can see that the word agreed to the, I agree that the word egregious means different things to different people, and 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 in this environment I can't defend the word egregious um, against those who would be who would oppose it. I, I actually feel more comfortable defending the word progressive um, because I think it's I think it's more evidence based and well backed and 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 I will even you know. It, uh, David's point about saying that it's the leadership that's progressive um, is would be a fine compromise to me. I'm not going to insist on the word progressive because it seems to be a touch point for me. And again, I'm trying to be reasonable where I can be reasonable. Um, but I, but I, I sort of think that you know, for us not to to note you know these kind of obvious signs of the Northampton Police Department being being kind of a leader um, in areas that almost anybody would call progressive. And again, you could credit that to the chief. Doesn't mean that they haven't been non-progressive in other ways, but I think it's important to, to cite. So anyway, what I would say here is let's go ahead and cut egregious. Um, let's cut you know no evidence of. Um, the, the only other possible I could, suggestion I could make is you know, uh, you know no complaints or testimony of of violence against people of color. That that would be something that might be more objectively true, like that nobody told us that directly. Um, that would answer Cynthia's concern that we didn't look. Um, but nobody came forward. I mean, what, stri what I'm trying to do is, is also say how striking it is that so many people did come forward with ha complaints about houseless, being hassled as being houseless. People came forward with many, many direct, you know, and so we, we heard that over and over and over again. And it was striking to me as a man of color in this community. Uh, I was listening for it. And I, I certainly heard people say, I feel uncomfortable around police. I don't want police in the school armed around my kids. That was clear, but I, I was listening carefully for, I was mis people telling that they were mistreated you know, what, what we got was kind of, we heard from Dan, we heard from Javier about, you know, police pulling them over excessively and, and seeming to show bias. Why are you pulling me over, not this person over? You know, that kind of stuff, um, which I think is, is, is a hassle for sure and, and is worth, worth noting. Um, but I think when the people, when the public reads our report and it begins with, this was inspired by the killing of George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, and we're recommending dramatic changes to the Northampton Police Department. I think many will rightfully ask, um, how did you get from there to here? And, um, and so to me, I think kind of commenting on that in some way um, and kind of how we viewed it, it, it makes make some sense, but. Can, well, I, can, I tend to agree with you, Namdi. I think somewhere in there we can say, we, you know, we had found no evidence of the kind of, of see, I don't have a problem with, if you leave out egregious, we have found no evidence of the kind of violence experienced in the George Floyd and Breonna Taylor cases. Nonetheless, we heard many suggestions that some people lack, you know, et cetera, et cetera. Can I, I, I tend to agree with you that, that people are going, the most common reaction, it seems to me, by those who support the police is, yeah, Breonna Taylor and George Floyd. That didn't happen here. Can I can I can I suggest just a word difference? Rather than talking about evidence, can we talk about we did not hear of experiences? Because this isn't we didn't do an evidence. It's what Cynthia is saying is we didn't review all the evidence. And but we heard 
we heard experiences through the public. And I'm, I'm just wondering if that changes and makes it easier to say we did not hear experiences. Uh, 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 the, you know, in, in the way that you're describing it. Yeah, I think that, that's fine. That would be fine, fine with me. Um, and I, you know, again, I would, yes, that's totally fine with me. Um, and let me just throw, throw another bone in here. And I would be comfortable if it made people feel better, you know, to kind of hint in some way, because I, I think it is persuasive, just so, something that, well, like I'm, I'm not gonna make this morning more complicated, but I, in our last uh, full commission meeting, you know, this, in, in our, even in our last subcommittee meeting, this whole idea of the, the not, not yet, you know, um, that we're trying to take a position that is more preventive, that, that in part we're responding to kind of what has been happening in the country and wanting to set up conditions in Northampton so that it's even less likely to happen. But I do think it'll be meaningful to the police department that, we, that, we, that we're not calling them racist essentially or any more racist than any, any of the rest of us. Like, I, I, think, I think that it's, there's something about leaving out there, you know, without saying directly, hey, you know, we did not find that you, some people will take these reforms as some kind of indictment of the Northampton Police Department. And if we are indicting them, we're indicting them for being police officers. We're indicting them because they're part of a larger institution that we find problematic. Um, and, and I think uh, that's a different thing than to imply that somehow we found them particularly lacking and, and in dramatic need. You know, I, I just, that's what I'm trying to, and I, so I think being as clear as we can about what we saw and what we didn't see and kind of why we're trying to move in the direction we're moving um, to the extent that we could do it, I want to hear what you know what Cynthia said about we didn't really do a careful search. So I can see why we wouldn't want to. You know, I'm thinking a bit about like um, you know the Mueller report and and you know kind of the question of uh, at the end of the day, are you are you exonerating? And we're not exonerating the Northampton Police Department, and that we didn't do that kind of search to say that they there there's no rate nothing happened negatively. But 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 I think it's worth saying that nobody came forward to us with these kinds of stories that prompted the whole national attention. Uh, at least not about people of color, which again, I think is such an important piece because that's the way this process started and the way it's gonna be read at the end. Um, you know, and, and, and uh, let me say one other thing, maybe, maybe I'll, and I'll, once again, I, I rarely brought my own personal identity into this. I try not to do it too much because I, I, I don't speak for all black people um, or any other group that I happen to be a part of. Um, but I will say that what personally troubles me is um, you know, racism is a real problem in our society. And I want us to, I worry about case, uh, marginal sort of cases uh, where we kind of kick up dust around race. I think it hurts the overall cause um, when we aren't clear about, you, you know, we see a racial violation, we go after it, we should go after it mercilessly. But I don't want people caught in clouds of innuendo about racism when it's just not justified. I think it, it hurts the overall cause. It makes it makes it makes it seem that racism is in the eye of the beholder, it's in people's, you know, imagination. And I just hate that. I, I, I and I worry that that a process that isn't clear about, you know, not finding overt <coughs> racial animus um, in some way, I, 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 that, that's what I'm going for. I, I, living the life I've, li I've lived, it's been very important to me that we move forward in a progressive way on racial justice. And that's most likely to happen when people are clear that there's a real violation. So what, what, why we got here is people watched George Floyd murdered on television. They saw something that with their own eyes that was incontrovertibly shocking and, and, um, and seemed to them a clear example. And I don't wanna present them a muddy, non-clear example in Northampton um, as, as if this is racism too. So I, I, that's what I'm trying to get at is we should try to, you know, not fall into that trap. It hurts the overall cause. I, I think our, our actual entire report um, <laughs> is, is, um, has become, um, you know, very reflective of what you were trying to avoid, um, MD, MD. Um, so I, I'm just concerned about why why we're putting it here. And I appreciate what you're saying about maybe um, I'll go beyond the optics of it, but um, I, I don't, because um, I did see some language at one point in time, again, I'm, I'm confused with the drafts that George Floyd and Breonna Taylor were, were mentioned in this section. 
And I think we mentioned them um, much earlier in the report as this being sort of the historic, uh, you know, the reason why this commission was even started. So, um, so anyway, I, I guess I just wanna see, we've talked about a lot of things and I'm not sure where we're landing with that sentence. Um, and my, my basic concern is, is that even if we saw or found or looked for this egregious evidence, yeah. it doesn't mean that it doesn't exist. And I have to privilege the voices, maybe not that just came to our commission, but also the ones that came to city council where something's existing, <laughs> you know, and we, we have um, the, the, the burden of proof is in what I'm gonna call the qualitative research of the lived experience. Yeah. So. Um, right, right, so yes. Um, again, I, I think that, uh, yes. And so it, I don't feel like we absolutely have to address, you know, George Floyd or anything here. So I, I again, if, if it's, if we can all live with something like, you know, we, we, we heard um, something like we heard many suggestions I realize I'm, I've got the control of the screen right now. Yeah, um, go for it. Lack lack trust and confidence in their safety around armed police, um, and you know, and notably, we heard many complaints about harms, um, uh, about harm from Northampton police experienced by houseless persons and people with mental health challenges. Um, so maybe, and maybe what was used a however, because one of the point, one of the points of this is to kind of if this paragraph is to kind of say that there's objective evidence of good things that the department is doing. Um, and then maybe no, we all, so something like, so I'll go ahead and, so, okay, so, no, notably we also heard something like that. Um, so, so we say we got positive reviews and negative reviews. We heard many suggestions that some people of color lack trust and confidence in their safety around any armed police. Notably, we also heard many complaints the only thing that, that, that I don't like about this is it, it does give the appearance of the equivalence between the complaints from people of color and the houseless and mental health challenges. And I, I really did hear a difference. Um, you know, and, and that's what I was trying to capture. You know, I, I really heard a much more prominent set of complaints from houseless and mental challenge populations than people of color. Um, does anybody here disagree with that? Does anybody feel like that wasn't the, the case? I, I think over time, we definitely um, heard that in that direction, but... Um... I also want to point out, and I think Josie pointed out in the chat that um, we haven't heard from the people that can't come forward, yeah. which was one of the things the outreach committee was trying to um, give voice to those voices in an anonymous fashion. So I just think we're hanging on evidence um, <laughs> um, that you know just came came to us through the people who came to us who had the courage to come to us. But I think there could be a lot of more people out there. Um, who feel differently, but I don't know. I don't know. And I just, I, I mean, if we are trying to complement MPD, that's one thing, right? If that's what we're trying to do, then we can talk about that. But I don't want to do it by minimizing the voices of the people that we've heard. That's yeah, it. And I, I, that, it's not my agenda to minimize people. And it's also not my agenda to compliment. My agenda is to get it is to be is to be factual and truthful. And as you know, Cynthia, my belief is that our committee structurally was set up to in a way that was that is biased, actually. And I'm trying to make sure we make space in our subcommittee to to not not to compliment, but just to even mention the, the positive work that the Northampton Police does. Every time the topic comes up, you know, I don't need to remind you that the mere suggestion that we even speak to the chief of police was controversial. It took mm -hmm. weeks. I remember to get, that. Okay, so 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 what I'm trying to do is to insert some semblance of Factual truth, um, not to not to praise the the Northampton police um, more than what they deserve. Um, all right. So what I do think maybe that would satisfy me here would be to maybe you drop if I said um, we drop the word many and we if we say something that we heard suggestions that some people of color uh, lack trust and confidence in their safety around armed police. Notably, we also heard many complaints about harm from Northampton police experienced by houseless persons. And so that at least, you know, in a more subtle way, and it doesn't, it doesn't sound inflammatory by mentioning George Floyd and Breonna Taylor, who I, who I, I totally agree, if that's covered elsewhere in the report, um, then there's no need to revisit that here. Um, so we're, we're going to be able, 
to we're gonna we have tomorrow to look at the entire report and tomorrow evening a chance to make final comments. I do think it's hard for us to talk about this this content, which is commission based content. It's not committee based content. It's commission based content. When when it's it's going to be more important to see how does the rep the overall report reflect the ideas, Namdi, that you're trying to um, make sure are represented in the report. And and I, I think it is a little bit of a, a, a dilemma for us because we don't have the entire report in hand. I mean, we have it literally in hand, but we haven't read it all. And we don't, we don't know how this sentence is gonna have to fit into the entire report. Um, I, how do you feel about the way it's worded at this point? Yeah, uh, well, we've talked to others. I, I certainly am okay with, with, this, with this wording. Um, Nick and, and I don't have no, no objection. I don't, I don't think it does any harm. Um, the, the only thing I, I might just add to this, as I've said many times, I think our subcommittee does have a special opportunity and responsibility to bring forward um, the existing practices and policies of the department. Of the, you know, nobody else is doing that. So the idea, I don't know what you mean by it's the committee's business and not the sub, the commission's not the subcommittee. I think it's very much our business to figure out what, what should be said about the police department. Um, and to that end, you know, when I, when I re revised this at two in the morning, uh, because I saw, heard there was an objection to it, um, you know, I brought forward some things, some more specific data to, to, to back this up. And I mentioned something that appears on their website about, that, about Northampton Police being the first in the state to sign up for the data. I, so that's a, that's a detail that I'm sure is not known. It wasn't known even to you, Nick, and, and maybe wasn't, you know, but that's the kind of detail that, you know, our subcommission can pull forward. And, and I'm not saying needs to be in the report, but I put it there because there seems to be such resistance to saying anything positive about the Northampton Police Department. And then there's such questioning about what progressive means. And so when you do that, I think you force someone like me to say, well, here's a piece of data. Here's the data says that, you know, this is the first in the state to do something that the President of the United States asked, you know, police departments to do. Um, and, and I think I don't, leaving that to the commission to kind of, um, make this statement, I think is a resistance to even saying anything positive at all in some ways. But if you're gonna say something positive, you know, the word progressive is questionable and then other things are questionable. So I guess what I'm saying is this text exists because I, feel, because I don't feel confident that there would be, um, you know, there seems to be hesitance to make statements about where the Northampton Police Department has done things that are in the progressive direction. And I, and I think it's important that that appears in our report. I've said that several times in different ways. You know. I'm actually uh, fine with the, the rewording that occurred, and um, I and I I just um, I, I hear about which the which rewording, which re Cynthia, which what rewording? I, what What's I'm seeing now? now in blue on the screen. Oh, all right, okay, thank you. Um, and so the uh, and, and uh, David, you are talking more about the progressive practices, and I've heard that term a lot that we're a progressive police department and I will lean forward and say, I think um, just based on what I personally know um, that the chief is progressive. Yeah, so everyone right? said that, so, okay, so. Uh, and, but I don't have, I don't have, um, I have a couple examples of that, but I, you know, I, it wasn't part of the subcommittee deliberations. Um, and that's why if this is going to be the report from our subcommittee, I wanna, be able to respond to, well, how did you get that progressive thing? Or how did you get this other piece? You know, I wanna be able to, to, to really know the answer to that. And I remember reading on the, um, uh, the same thing that you read Namdi about the uh, Obama administration um, police data initiative. I remember reading that. And, and that's, a, that's a choice that we have to, to put that in, you know, as, a, as an example of, of um, being progressive. If, and I don't. I just don't know. I'm. It's. I'm, it's really a question of naivety about what um, a progressive department is in, in the world of police. Um, I. Can I, I, I yep. Sorry. Go ahead, Nick. I. I want. I want to say in terms of progressive, I, Namdi in the in the paragraph below that we're not looking at 
points out some very specific progressive activities that the that our police department has engaged in. On the other hand, when I reviewed the complaint history, there are clearly some challenges that the police department has that are inherent in old fashioned policing and their inability to, um, to correct or even uh, fire a, an officer that had done some very, very irregular activities. And I'm just saying, it, both are true. Both are true. There, there are old fashioned policing, uh, longstanding problems with the structure of the, the, um, the unions and the police. We also have the overtime issue, which we, I think, uh, nicely addressed. Um, but I think that um, both are true. And, and I, 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 I guess I wanna say, can we get both of them in there? Can we, Nam, do you, do you wanna say more to be, do you wanna get more of that specific stuff in there just to make sure, but, but we are talking about the leadership, the leadership, because that is where most of this, um, this stuff um, uh, is initiated. Yeah, well, I, I would welcome uh, adding a sentence that, like what you just described, Dick, about the about the negative, well, about about specific examples of what you call old fashioned policing that 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 emerged, you know, in our in our search to to balance this out. It's one of the reasons I wrote the sentence of a positive and negative, you know, reviews. Um, uh, yeah, and and I, I'm so, and that would be consistent with what I'm trying trying to get at here, which is just trying to present a a more, you know factually based statement about the practices of the police department based on our subcommittee's reviews. Um, so um, yeah, and I, and I do think this, this would be, might be strengthened by modifying the, the, the more vague uh, sharing data with the public and implementing outreach efforts, which I wrote kind of more generally, I could replace that with just, just the, the statement about being the first in the Massachusetts to participate. I, I could do I that. I would be fine with that. But and, then, and, and then enter your sentence that you want, Nick, about the Old fashioned policing. I, 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 I'm not looking for that sentence to go in there. I'm, I, I feel like if you, we've stated it in the blue section where we said we heard, we heard positive. Let me, where, where is it? Oh, uh, we noted. Uh, now we're lower down. I'm, I'm yeah, losing. No, I'll, I'll, let, me, let me quickly. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm going to cut this and then you can kind of read, read what you were going to say. So, Makes it a little bit longer, but it. Um, all right. So, is this? Sorry, is this? Is this the part that you said, Nick? That as oh, well, you, you said it clearly. We heard many positive reviews of the Northampton police performance from members of the community, but also many negative reviews. Um, uh, oh, I see. Um, do we want to? Yeah, do we want to say something specific? So, which again, I think is is the role of our subcommittee. Like, if, if we saw something in looking at the data that is an example of negative, uh, you know, uh, or old fashioned policing, I mean, I think that would belong here too, and it would just be a kind of way of illustrating what we mean. And because obviously, when I say progressive, it's it's controversial. So, I think saying specifically what you mean by it. By so I don't know how I would say it. I'd have to think about it. But the way I read it is the leadership tried to make changes and the, the, the status quo of the, of, the, of the police department structure made them unable to succeed. I don't, I don't know, do we need to go into that? And I, I, I really would like comment on that. I, I'm not, I'm not sure you, we can, can get into that. Where did you see that, Nick? I just don't know in our deliberations what you're referring to. I'm referring to the 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 my review of the the complaint procedure. There's a very very lengthy, protracted investigation of some pretty egregious behavior by uh -huh. a by a police officer who who um, uh, completely ignored police protocol and um, and did something completely inappropriate with the drug box. Oh, and, I see what you're saying. Okay. And 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 he was investigated, pages and pages of investigation, 
but upon um, appeal and, and some kind of legal intervention, um, they had to throw it out. They mm -hmm. had to throw it out. And it was clear that the, the leadership wanted the right thing and did, did what, was, what was all they could do, but that um, they were limited in their, their power and authority. I want to just make an attempt, and again, we can cut this if you don't like it. So another thing, our, our careful review of the complaints process revealed uh, problematic behaviors by individual office, you know, um, behaviors by, I'm going to, um, is it fair anything to say individual officers, or do we want to say at least one individual officer? What's, what's a fair way to say it? Was there more than one case of this, in, of this kind of, old-fashioned policing as you look at the, the complaints. But I can say at least one, which, which actually, I, by the way, to me is one, of the, is one of the persuasive arguments for landing on our recommendations is that we're really trying to prevent the even one. We don't want a single George Floyd, you know? So even if there's one, one problematic person in this department with arm, the, you know, the that, problem that would be a problem. <laughs> The problem with problematic behavior is it, it's a very ambiguous term. I mean, people will interpret that in different ways. It, how you want to characterize it, it wasn't a racial. It wasn't a racial incident. No, well, it, I, I'm not saying it. Can say I it? just? Can yeah. I just say? Can we? Can we be careful? Uh, because I don't want to contradict something that we've already done yeah. in the report, talking about the complaint procedure as yeah. um, problematic. So we don't I, want to hold it up and shut it down at the right. same. I, I, so I don't we, want to put this in here. You don't? I don't. Not okay. here. Okay. Not here. I feel we've addressed it in the in in our comments about the complaint procedure. Well, I, I, okay. Uh, it's just I'm not sure. I, I I I'm fine with you not including the sentence, but I I don't hear the contradiction between highlighting a complaint that that you saw. Uh, handled poorly or, or just that the behavior is poorly and also saying that the complaint procedure could be could be handled better um, the, the two the two are not are not opposites or contradiction um, and anyway but 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 it sounds like what you're saying what, what and what I liked about the example you're giving Nick for, for the paragraph I was writing is that it sort of says that we're willing to give credit to the leadership and that that seems to be the one consistent thing david has said that he feels that jody casper is positive everybody sort of sees that but there may be individual officers uh whose behavior has been more problematic i think everyone agrees with that there have been cases now that's not that's not even what i'm saying i'm saying um despite the um uh progressive practices of the leadership there are limits in what they can accomplish uh uh, there are there have been a, there have been times where they've been limited in in making needed changes, something like that. Um, it, oh, it's structural. It's it's structural. It's not it's not um, the the specific people involved. Well, would it be worth would it be worth saying that? But again, my my suggestion was to have something that says you know again our review of the complaint process. The reason why I brought that up was really trying to address Cynthia's question of. Uh, did we deliberate about this? And I, I certainly know, Nick, that you did bring in, you talked about, you did this review of the complaint process. We did discuss that. And to right. me, it's fair, it's fair game. To, we, we discussed it not just in terms of, not just in terms of like the reform of the complaints process, but we actually discussed the complaints. We, we, we spent some time in our commission. Right. Yeah. But it's not, the problem isn't that there were specific officers that did something different or wrong. Yeah. The prob, the problem is that the, the leadership is limited in implementing certain things yeah. um, be, be, because you're always going to have, even an, it, even an officer who didn't do something horrendous, the leadership is still limited in their authority over that officer due to the, the structure of the unions and so forth. Yeah, but it's, it seems to me worth saying something like that here. Because I think because it, because it basically makes this point that, that you, it, it actually, I think, gives the department credit for what it does well. Um, but says even if you're doing this well, here's the problem, and, and it and it and it doesn't do it just based on philosophy. It does it based on data. It, it does it based on the ex existing. You're not saying here. You're not saying we're worried that in the future someday a George Floyd can happen. You're saying our examination of the complaints process revealed that even with progressive leadership, 
these things still went awry, essentially, um, showing that leader, progressive leadership alone um, you know, d doesn't solve all of, the, all of the problems that we might have. Um, so I don't know if you think that there's something like that is worth it. I mean, I'm not, I'm not insisting on it, but and also my computers. You know, I, I'm, I, I, I have this sense that we're spending an awful lot of time on uh, one sentence. And, and as, yeah. as I look at the way it's there up until a second ago. It, oh, yeah, I, I had to, my, my screen is doing a bunch of weird things. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to try again. It just, it just shut off. You're frozen. Uh, uh, Keep going. Something happened with the. But I, I, I mean, I does anybody have a problem with the way it's written now? I mean, I'm I okay. A problem with the way it's written. I'll, I'll put it back. I'll put it back up so we all can agree, and then then we can move on. Yeah, my uh, issue was that uh, there was no evidence. And that, that's no, come. That's now come and, out. And that's out. And so what is highlighted in blue. Right. Um, and, and and then adding in the justification by saying that that, that the the releasing police data. To the public via the website is is a is a good policy an example that, of, good, of good leadership. That takes mayor, that takes care of my concerns. I, I'm I have okay a with problem it. Problem with the way this is, this is written now. Um, I you know I I do want to acknowledge you know your your point that you have consistently made over the months, Sandy that. You know, if the department is doing something well, we should be acknowledging that. And um, I, I think this is fine the way it written. Okay, so who can I email this to and be within public meeting? Uh, who who should get this? I'll, I'll copy it and paste it and send it. It's, you, Cynthia, do you get this or who Dan? Um, Cynthia? Well, no. why don't you? Uh, I'm sorry, did I miss some a comment there? No, I, I was I was saying I, it definitely needs to go to Dan and Cynthia. And you can uh, you can also have it go to ask Noah to distribute it among all of us. Okay, that's what I'll do. So I'll send it. I'll do that right now on a separate document, and everyone will have this, and we can move on to something else. Thank but you for interrupting our perseveration, David. That was a good intervention. <laughs> <laughs> and, and I just want to make sure um, that it's that we cut and paste it in the right spot. So that's one thing I worry about a little bit. Um, you know where so, it came from originally? I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, because if you send it to us blind, um. Oh, so what should I call it? Tell me, get, get, tell me a name for it, and I'll, I'll. I, I it's I guess unless we don't have any other, it's a revision to the um, policies and procedures subcommittee, and and we'll we'll the try to figure overview. out. You know what, I, overview. I'll also, what I'll do is I'll date and timestamp it. Monday, March fifteenth, five thirty-five p.m., and maybe that'll be helpful. Okay. you'll have this. So what else is on our agenda tonight? This was the top item on our agenda. I now, I, I guess I would like to ask who's been able to read the, uh, the, 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 the current version of the report? I have not. I just, I just printed it this afternoon, but I haven't had a chance to read it. Yeah. Um, and I ha I've only read the first four pages. Um, and I, I do want to say, I, 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 the, the report is formatted and framed. My initial take is a lot of the, the, all the different stuff we wanted in there looks like it got in with the prioritization of our recommendations being highlighted and I so I'm so far I'm I think um Dan did an amazing job and but at this I do need to read it and I think we all do yep and, and I don't know that we can do that in this meeting I've read it four times so <laughs> yeah, you don't want to read it again in a, in a yeah personal meeting uh, yeah you want to do that either um do, any suggestions for um yeah, I, I've got time to read it tonight after the meeting. Um, and I am ready to discuss. I, I, the I mean, I think it's, you know, I mean, barring, I mean, we could have missed something, but I think it's like 95% done in terms of content. We're still waiting for um, uh, comments from the public and, and outreach is working hard on that. And Dan will select or, 
you know, insert them in the proper places, um, which I think will add a lot of richness. Where um, there might be some more people that want to do a personal statement in the reflective appendix. Yeah. I think there's a couple more people we've got to capture in terms of people we consulted or visited or called. Um, but it's, I really think the bulk of it's there. Hoping Cindy, did, did, Dan do, did Dan do the heavy lifting on this? Did he do uh, the um, bringing together of all the pieces primarily? Absolutely. Or did you? Did you? No, we, no, we both did nothing. Um, <laughs> um, Dan definitely pulled it all together. Okay. And um, it's been a series of, uh, oh, what about this? What about that? You know, just kind of back and forth. So, so it's really important. I just, just my, my kind of one of my final comments is it's really important that we read it so that it represents um, what we think as much as possible and what the entire commit commission wanted, because I, Dan has been having to, um, uh, shoulder a lot of the uh, response for uh, by the community, and I, I, I just I want I want us to be able to help him with that as much as possible um, between now and tomorrow night. I um, and I don't have any other standing agenda item on our uh, uh, on our agenda. Uh, uh, I could open up for new business, but I think um, uh, this is uh, our chance to just um, look at each other. And uh, I'm sorry, Elizabeth isn't uh, here to, to join us, but to- Yeah, me too. To, to, uh, uh, to say uh, whatever we want about this subcommittee. And I'm gonna open it up um, to anybody who wants to make any final comments. <laughs> I'll just say you've all been wonderful to work with. I hope we cross paths in the real world. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I wanna thank everyone. I know everyone has worked hard and um, it, it's been healthy conversations. And um, um, so I appreciate flexibility, listening, people showing up, people doing so much work. Um, I learned a lot. Same here. I guess I'll just go next and say that uh, I learned a lot from this as well and particularly appreciated this, this subcommittee as a, uh, a natural home from which to kind of work on this very difficult and challenging process. It was good to have a home base that was small enough in size to have sense of a community with larger meeting was, was more of a challenge to do that. And so it, it, in contrast, it really made me appreciate the subcommittee in particular. And, and also thanks to Noah and, 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 and all the administrative help that we had before Noah, but certainly Noah, you've been one with us, you know, and uh, keeping the trains running on time. And I've, I've in my life come to appreciate how much of our world depends on administrative support and how things like, you know, don't work unless you have people behind the scenes keeping you organized. <laughs> All that so I totally appreciate that. Yeah, it's very, very sweet. I know I've never had more respect for this work in my life. So wow. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, I'm never gonna ask an admin person a snarky question ever again. <laughs> I was like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, it's really not that you ever did. <laughs> not that I ever did ever in my whole life, but yeah. So Cynthia, did you wanna say? Anything else? No, but you might want to schedule another meeting in case things go awry tomorrow night. <laughs> <laughs> but what, when, when does, what day does it get presented? Thursday. Thursday, yeah, okay. I, who, I want to just- said, Who said Thursday? I did. The, I, I don't think that's going to happen, quite frankly. Um, oh. so, um, so I think that's all being negotiated and discussed. Um, I, I, it's not on the agenda for Thursday, so um, we'll have to, I mean, to be fair to city council and the mayor, they probably want some time to digest before, you know, I mean, I'm, I don't want to speak on their behalf, but um, I, I, it's not going to happen on Thursday. But that doesn't mean we stop. <laughs> we want to get it in on Wednesday. 
I, I just want to say uh, a, a couple of things. Mo most of what I want to say is in my personal statement, and you'll you'll be you're welcome to read that. But but I really want to say how um, how amazing it 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 was to experience the different styles that each of you have, and 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 um, sometimes. It just everybody had their own completely different um, way of interacting with this, and it just uh, it's it's been a very I agree with Cynthia. It's been very educational, um, and and I feel that we did as good as we could do, bringing bringing together different different viewpoints, um, and um, and as I wrote in my statement, I feel the commission um, took a long time to kind of get going, to kind of really start getting into stuff. And then we, we barely had enough time to do the work that we had to do. And I, uh, but I, I ended up respecting and valuing everybody's input really was pretty, pretty remarkable experience. So it was a learning experience for me of, as I think it was for, all of us. I, I can't imagine that it wasn't. And I see that uh, 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 Booker's joined us briefly just to hear our goodbyes. <laughs> uh, but um, we'll we'll be able to talk tomorrow night um, and uh, uh, give our final our final contributions. Uh, hi, Booker. Uh, uh, we're just just about done here. If you. Okay. <laughs> Nick, thank you for your leadership. You did a lot of a lot of behind the scenes work to try to keep this all together. So really appreciate that. Uh, I I didn't feel that it, I felt supported. Let's put it that way. So <laughs> I uh, I I think uh, and it wasn't easy at times. I felt just like everybody else that like what where the hell are we going with this and what is and 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 do I belong here? And uh, but I felt. Ultimately, I felt supported, um, and I felt the commission really started to to support each other in a very meaningful way. So, I I, I Booker made a, a brief comment reference to the Brattleboro report. I think we had to do the same work with way less resources, and I I think we accomplished quite a bit. And uh, um, and uh, uh, so um, I, I, we'll see, we'll see. I'll, we'll talk more tomorrow night. Right, so Cynthia had the suggestion that we, sh that we should schedule some kind of, I, mean, I, I feel like that was a kind of an important hint. Do, 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 should we at least look for a time and then, and then we can always cancel? What, what I, was that? I, I hope I was joking, um, but thank you, Nandi. Um, no, you you know, so we don't need to, so we really are done. As I, far as I, I would think so, but one never knows. <laughs> <laughs> we're, we're, we're done, and 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 once this is over, we're no longer subject to open meeting law, uh, or whatever. Right. So we can. Uh, I we think can, we can meet next time and have a virtual uh, happy hour. We'll have a scotch, and may, it, we might need to because we might have no more friends in this town after this is all done. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk to. You. And then right, Noah, right. you cannot take minutes if we meet. All right. right. Oh my God. <laughs> We can expect it, expect to receive it from all sides. David, what did you say? I didn't hear that. With every decision you make, either an enemy or an ingrate. I, I, I feel David is has much more experience with this kind of thing than any of us. So, uh, uh, but he knows it. But. Um, so uh, the time is uh, 5.45, and uh, uh, if uh, anybody wants to make a motion to end the meeting, I think, uh, uh, hopefully see you all around somewhere else, but uh, do I hear a motion to end the meeting? Second. All right. Uh, okay, Let's quick, quick go around. Now, let me pull, I'm like, where do they go? Uh, Nick? He, uh, yes. David? Yes. Namdi? Yes. Cynthia? Yes. All right. We are adjourned, y'all. Thank you. Thank you all. Bye, Booker.